All right, we'll talk about the chimney next. So the chimney is your tall glass tube that sits on top of your lamp. So the difference between an Aladdin chimney and a regular lamp chimney, one difference is the height. So they are 12 and a half inches high, uh, which is taller. And the reason it's taller is so that it can create more of a draft, pulling more oxygen into the lamp. Another difference is the type of glass that it's made of. Um, it is a special glass that's made to withstand higher temperatures. So if you were to, say, break your Aladdin chimney and you have another lamp sitting around that has a chimney that looks like it'll fit, probably not a good idea to use it even if it does fit because the glass is not going to be as high a grade as this. You're going to have a chance that it's probably going to crack um, and you don't want that. So definitely only using Aladdin chimneys with your Aladdin lamp. With the newer MaxBrite chimneys that we have, um, we redesigned the logo so they look a little bit different. Um, it's got the new MaxBrite logo at the top. There's now a caution statement at the bottom and it just talks about how the lamp is really hot, make sure you have good ventilation, all those important steps there. We also have two different styles of chimney. So older lamps versus newer lamps, some of them took a slightly different chimney. So the two options are called either Heelless or Loxon. We also redesigned the, the Aladdin logo on those as well. It's just a simple Aladdin. Whereas you can see on this older one here that's kind of got a more ornate um, image on it. So the logos are all fired into the glass um, so that you don't confuse them with a regular chimney that you might have laying around. So determining what type of chimney they need, for, if they need a Helis or a Loxon. The Helis chimney looks like this. It's got a very smooth bottom that looks similar to what standard chimneys will look like. And it's gonna go into um, a gallery that looks like this. It's kind of like a crown on top. And these little tabs are movable so that you can fit it down in and get it so that it's snug. The other option is a Loxon chimney. Loxon chimneys aren't smooth on the bottom. There's a three different grooves there that will actually go into a gallery that looks like this. So it's kind of a flat top. It's got three notches on here. So your chimney goes in, you turn and lock it into place. So hence the name Loxon. All right, and then we also have another option. Um, so anyone who lives above 3,000 feet in elevation, we recommend a high output chimney. The high output chimney, the only difference is it's three inches taller. So it's 15 and a half inches high. And what that does is again, the taller the chimney, the more draft it pulls in. So if you live in an elevation, there's less oxygen the higher you go. So because the lamps require a lot of oxygen to be flowing, they need that extra draft in order to keep the air flowing into their burner so that their mantle will glow. So they may say, my lamp just really isn't very bright. That could be a reason why. The high output chimney, you can actually use that if you are below 3,000 feet, if you're at sea level. Um, by doing that, you can actually boost your brightness up to about 20% um, using it there. Um, the only thing to keep in mind there is you do use a little bit more fuel because it's burning a little bit more, um, but you'll get a little bit more brightness out of it if you do that. All right, so we'll talk about the burner assembly next. The burner is the heart of the lamp. This is where um, it's the point of combustion where your fuel is being converted into light and it contains all your little pieces parts. It's got the flame spreader, your outer wick tube, the inner wick tube, the wick and the wick razor. Our burners come in either kerosene or electric. So um, kerosene obviously you're using oil and burning it that way. Um, but you can also get a burner that has um, where it's configured where you can use a light bulb. So 60 watt light bulb, you can get the look of your Aladdin lamp but also the convenience of using electricity. And every kerosene burner comes with the wick already installed, which is nice, because that's kind of a tricky operation. Um, it comes with a wick cleaner, like I showed you before, the wick cleaner. And it also comes with the operating and safety instructions. So these are kind of new. Um, it's basically the same steps and information, safety information that was in the enjoyment manual that used to go out with every lamp. They're not putting those in with, that, with the lamps anymore. This goes right inside the burner box. So when you get a new lamp, obviously you get a burner with that. You get this information. If you buy a new burner, you also get it. 
all of the burners that we sell right now will fit into all coarse threaded brass and glass fonts, but they will not work on center draft models. Center draft is where there was actually a hole in the bottom of the lamp going all the way up the top. Everything comes heelless now, which means the gallery looks like this with the crown and the tabs on there. Um, the locks on version that looks like this is no longer being made, so everything is moving to heelless. And that's both the kerosene and the electric. All right, so again, the gallery is that upper part of the burner that's detachable. All right, and every time you're going to light your wick, clean your wick, the gallery comes off. And if you want to convert your old Loxon gallery and switch over to the Helis variety of chimney, all you have to do is buy a separate gallery. It should fit right on the burner basket. That allows you to switch over to Helis. And one reason why you might want to do that is because Loxon chimneys have a tendency to crack more often than the Helis ones do. So if they're having that kind of an issue, you may suggest um, switching over to Helis. So the next part we're gonna talk about, this is not a um, functional part of the lamp, but I do wanna talk about these, um, the shade. So a shade can go on top of your lamp and it can be either glass or cloth or parchment. And by using a shade, you can soften the light a little bit. It also will focus it downward so that uh, if you're wanting to read by it, you can do that. It also just adds a decorative touch um, to your decor. You've got lots of different options. Um, so if you are going to put a shade on your Aladdin lamp, you want to make sure that you use only Aladdin shades. There's lots of shades out there that are glass that look very similar, um, but again, they're not designed for the high heat that they're going to be subjected to with an Aladdin lamp, so you want to make sure that you get an Aladdin shade. And all of our glass shades are hand-painted, so there could be some slight variation uh, with what you get, um, but we do inspect them for quality control, so they get a batch in and they look at them to make sure that they're lining up um, with the specs of what they should look like so that we don't send out anything that's really different than what it should be. For shelf lamps, remember those are the shorter ones. This is a table lamp, so the shelf lamp is the shorter one. Um, we recommend using only cloth or parchment shades, and the reason for that is because the glass shades are a little bit heavier and the shorter lamps don't sit as steady, so it's a little bit too top heavy when you use a glass shade on a shelf lamp. So we don't wanna do that. So if we do sell a shade with your lamp, one thing that you wanna remember is that we sell the shade ring and the tripod separately. So don't sell them the shade, but then not give them anything to put it on. So if they get a glass shade, you're gonna use a shade ring that'll look similar to this, okay? So your glass shade will sit on top of that. If they use a cloth or parchment shade, you're gonna use a tripod, which is very similar. It's uh, got the same ring, same um, arms here, but it does not have the ring on the top. That's the only difference, okay? 